Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a Physics 7C practice problem on the topic of standing waves. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So the uh, problem that we're gonna be solving today is a final exam problem. So let's look at it. Um, as usual, all of the PDF versions of these uh, quizzes and final exam problems can be found in the description. So if you guys wanna Go ahead and print them out so that you can work them out with me. Uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. So as we learned during the quarter, a flute acts like a pipe that is open at both ends, while a clarinet acts like a pipe that is closed at one end and open at the other. Both instruments work by producing sound standing waves in the air inside of them. So the first uh, thing that they are asking us to do, uh, feel free to pause the video to copy all of the instructions, is if a clarinet is 60 centimeters long, what is the frequency of its fundamental mode? Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have my very basic information over here, which is that flute is um, open, open-ended, clarinet is closed, open-ended. Uh, they gave us the length of the clarinet, but not the length of the flute. The only thing that I'm going to add is that uh, this quiz does provide us with the velocity of waves on air. So, three forty meters per second. This was provided on the final exam, and it's just, um, you know, the... Uh, speed of sound standing waves in air. Now, uh, in order, I also need to remember my equations for open open and close open. This is a little bit of a summary of the entire standing waves topic that we made during our introduction video. So if you guys uh, want to know how we build this from scratch, you go ahead and I do that, but because I already did that on video, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy my equations. So for open, open, my equations are and again, do not assume that you'll be provided with this because you need to uh, be able to get them yourselves. So this is open, open. And then close open is and then for frequency all right here we go so now let's look at the first problem the first uh, part of this final exam question is asking what is the frequency of the fundamental mode for the clarinet? So a uh, fundamental mode, like we said in the introduction video, is uh, n is equal to 1. And we're talking about the clarinet, so we're talking about closed open, so we're actually going to use this equation over here. So this is two times one, because again, fundamental minus one times velocity, which is this number, then divided four times the length of the clarinet. So this is just gonna be uh, two minus one, one, this is 340 divided by 4 times 0 0.6. We don't really use decimals when it comes to frequencies. So I'm just going to say it's 142. You know what, I thought about it, and even though it's true that with frequencies we like to use whole numbers, I don't think that's necessarily obvious to students, first of all, and second of all, it's just a preference, but there really is no reason. So I think that I'm just going to go ahead and use the number that the calculator threw at me, because I feel like 
a regular 7C student would just use this number. So we're just going to go ahead and not round it up. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up use my calculator number, which is 141.6. And I'll show you that, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because it's just a preference. So it's not like this number doesn't exist. Um, but I'm trying to make these videos, you know, if I were just solving the problem, then I would just like go ahead and do it in one step. The idea is to solve it as if I were a student and I feel really positive that a student would go with this answer instead of rounding. So this is the answer that we're keeping. So for part B, um, oh yeah, so this is final answer for A. So for part B, they are asking us, if you wish to make a flute that has the same fundamental frequency as the clarinet in part A, how long must it be? Okay, so now they are saying that F1 flute must be the same. And given this constraint, what must be the length of the flute? So basically we have to grab this number, but now our uh, flute is open, open. So we need to use, uh, we need to find the new length. So we're gonna go ahead and use this equation over here, which is appropriate for the flute. So let's just go ahead and copy that. Um, but it is also equal to one, times 340 divided by two times L. So if I go ahead and solve for L, then L is equal to 340, one just goes away, two times 141.6. So let's see, so 340, divided by two times 141.6, that is equal to 1.220, that's just 1.2 meters, final answer for part B. There we go. So now for part C, what is the ratio of the fundamental frequency of the flute? Okay, so we're talking about the flute to the frequency of the next longest wavelength standing wave that can be induced in the flute. In music theory, this ratio is termed a perfect octave. Okay, so we're talking about the flute. So far C is about the flute and they want a ratio of the fundamental. So fundamental is one. Uh, to the frequency of the next longest wavelength. Okay, so like this. So this is the fundamental and then the next longest wavelength is the uh, uh, the second harmonic. So we just go ahead and copy this, basically. I mean, we don't really, all we need is just to use our definition for the flute, which we have over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now over here, this is one um, times velocity, which is uh, 340. And then this is two times L for the flute. And we said that flute was 1.2. And then the second one is just two times everything else. like this. So basically what we have is all of this chunk cancels out pretty much. And then we have like a one half over here. So this is just one half. One half final answer for the uh, flute. And now part D is asking me uh, pretty much the same thing, except now we have to do the same thing, but for the clarinet. 
So I'm just gonna divide this and part B, uh, part D, I'm sorry, is for the clarinet. So I'm just gonna So F1 divided by F2, and all I have to do is just pretty much copy these equations. So this is 2 times 1 minus 1, 340 divided by 4 times 0 0.6, and all of this 2 times 2 minus 1, 340, 4 times 0 0.6, 4 times 0 0.6 cancels out, 340 cancels out. So this is equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1. So F1 over F2 is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, and then 4 minus 1 is equal to 3, 1 third. Final answer. And then lastly, uh, is this ratio the same as it was for the flute? Well, no, obviously not. For the flute, uh, the perfect octave was one half, and then for the clarinet, it was one third. This comes as a consequence that they are uh, uh, structurally different. Uh, the flute is an open open, clarinet is closed open. So we had to use the respective formulas. Again, if you're still unsure as to where I'm uh, pulling them from, it all comes from the summary that we did on the introduction video. So feel free to go ahead and look at that if you're still uh, feeling a little confused on the subject. And with this, we are done with our uh, practice problems. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and comment and I'll see you guys on the next video.